see the pile. <laughs> so. Oh look, they put the sign here. That's so funny. Yeah, right? Because if you're at this point, you know where you are. Alright. Yeah, they're digging. They are digging. Hello and welcome to Gone Exploring. Today we are in Aurora, North Carolina, digging for shark's teeth. So they have a pit here. You, just, you can bring your own little screen. It can't be any bigger than 12 inches. And then you just sift through your stuff. There's a pit over here. This one's in the shade. It was nice over there. I saw a lot of people digging over here. I think this was a parking lot. I found a few. A couple of nice big ones. So the story of this place is there is a nearby phosphorus mine or phosphate, one or the other. And when they were digging, they found a lot of fossils. So people used to be able to just come in here and used to just be able to go into where they had the fossil dig and just go look for fossils. But of course it gets dangerous so they stopped doing that. But now what, they, what the phosphate company does is they bring truckloads and they replenish the pits. Let's see what this is. This looks big. It might be bone or it might be tree. I don't know. If anybody knows, leave a comment. So here's a bigger pit over here. So I think that's supposed to be the size of a Megadon's mouth. I'm guessing. I don't know. So, let's head into the uh, fossil museum. This is a tiny little town. Not a lot going on here. Oh, June 15th is National Megadon Day. Who knew? We're here for the perfect day. That's what they did. Little gift shop. 
I think I'm gonna have to get a sink like this. It's all fossil shells. That's a big one. So, wow, that is big. So every now and then they let people go fossil hunt in the mines, like professionals, like uh, real archaeologists. Like a couple of times a year they let them do that. Oh look, this is pretty neat because you get to learn the names. Huh. like a full set of teeth. Mago shark. I did find a Megadon with the enamel that had worn off. Neat. That's what we were hoping to find, but we found some we found some cool stuff. Fossilized shark discs. I found one of those. Shark bitten bone. Cool. Oh, look. All of this together. We're good now. Alright, I'm gonna wander around the museum a little bit. I have some thing that I want them to ask want to ask them about. I wonder if this stuff is bone. We got this room. Oh, we got some bits of bone. That's like some stuff that I picked up. See, I found a lot of sharp, pointy things like that. 
Oh, I guess these are dolphin teeth that I found. Okay, cool. Wow, this is a walrus head that was snagged in a fishing net. That's a big head. We got some wal walrus bones in the tusk. And all this stuff is found in Aurora. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, a whale vertebrae. That's a big one. Ooh, seal teeth. Interesting. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing a bone. Oh, this is what phosphate looks like. That's what they have a mine for, phosphate. Here's some more bones here. Dolphin skull. Neat. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, but I'll take their word for it. We picked up a lot of pieces of coral. I think coral is pretty awesome, but that's a giant piece. Eagle ray. See, I found some stuff that looked like that, so I guess maybe that was an eagle ray? That'd be cool. Neat. Very neat. Now we're heading into the mine room. This is cool. Well, this pretty much shows you the mining that they did and where the seabed is. Let's walk over this way. Oh, look! So here's the different layers. And it tells you where they find stuff. The shell bed. That's where the shell bed is. Oh, and there's lower shell beds. Neat. Now, yeah, those are some neat shells. Now, before they bring what they brought here before before they dump the stuff they uh, put it through a sieve so you don't really get any giant you won't be able to get like a giant well bone or anything but you know it's nice of them to do this like bring the stuff from the pits here. I think that's pretty awesome. So now we're going to the Aurora Fossil Museum. Oh, and they're closed. Oh well. Go see if the next place is open. I think they'd be open on Megalodon Day. Oh, they're closed. Oh well. We'll have to come back. So they got little picnic tables here. Have a little sandwich or something.
thought this was a piece of coral that I was about to pick up. It turns out it's a frog. It scared the poop out of me. So I'm using this thing and it makes me feel like a real archaeologist. Stop me if you see something. There's a lot of coral here. I've been picking up a lot of pieces. And then there's these cute little round shiny things. They look like tiny little jelly beans. But I'm keeping them too. Oh, cool. Good for you. Oh, cool. My first shark juice. First one. I think I'll put this one in my special bag. That's a weird little hole inside of metal. Don't know what it is. Maybe it's an Indian artifact. Maybe it's garbage. Shush. <laughs> Easy. Oh, yeah. I just looked down and found this. Huh. Sweet. Just looked down and found this. Oh man, I think I had one stuck to my leg. I wiped it off before I saw what it was. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to shower tonight. <laughs> What, which fine? <laughs> oh, you scared me! You scared me! Maya, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>
I probably just don't have enough patience for this screening thing. Because <laughs> that's what Lucy's been doing. She's been buying a bunch of them. Uh, Nothing big though, a little one. Yeah. Yeah, they're either teeth or just triangle shaped rocks. I think that's something. So there's a lot of coral and seashells. I like seashells, even if they are broken up. All right, I'm gonna have to go. I have to go pee pee and I'm not using an outhouse. Oh, this is just so much fun. How many hours have we been here? I think we got here like 10.30? Something like that? Oh, it's 12.51 now. So, how many hours is that? Three? Four? I don't know. I can't do math right now. So these are my top lines. This top row over here, these are all bone bits. Not sure what this is, but it looked interesting. This is a vertebrae. From a shark. This is mouth parts from a stingray. Manta ray. These are my teeth. The ones I found, not the ones in my mouth. So this I think, I might be wrong, but I think this is like broken off from a big mig megalodon. So they range in size. This is like my biggest, these two right here. And I vowed whatever when I find, I'm going to turn into a necklace. Found some pretty good necklace worthy ones. And this thing is weird. It has like this little circly thing on both sides. Almost like somebody started drilling that or something. It has this tiny little thing in there, in that little circly part. No idea what that is, but I thought that was cool. And then here's all the teeth. Some of them are quite small. And I think these over here, I think these are dolphin teeth. So before we left, Lucy made us this cool chart. And of course she laminated it. And uh, so you could identify the different shark ones. See? Shark vertebrae. It looks exactly like it. So they wrapped it up super nice. Especially considering it was two bucks. A little carved dinosaur. That's cute. And also, I got this. That was five dollars, but it was so cool. I thought it was pretty, really cool for five bucks. It's a fish, in case you can't tell. 
And maybe it looks more like a fish this way. But over here is the mouth. Yeah, I was very excited about that find. Well, it's not really find, purchase. And also, because it was National Megalodon Day, I got a free tote. I got this at the dollar store to put in my super cool finds. It wasn't actually a dollar, they charged five dollars, but still for five dollars I thought it was pretty cool. And I'm going to put in my top finds in here. And display them. So anything I found even remotely interesting, I put in this bucket over here. So these are my secondary finds. I'm telling myself that's a megalodon. Could be a big bone. Like a whale bone or something. Got a, a lot of coral. A lot of bone bits. There are a lot of these stones that were just like like perfectly worn, like they were done in um, a tumbler, like a stone tumbler or something. Some of these shells were super thick. This looks like it could be a vertebrae, but I'm no professional, so I don't know for sure. Like I said, a lot of coral, a lot of bone bits. Little teeny tiny seashells, but since they came from where they did, I know they're fossils and I know they're very old. Look how thick and old that is. That's thick. Look at the size that I'm thinking was like a scalpy kind of shell. Look how big. Amazing. Here's another bone bit. So if you have a kid that's really into fossils or wanting to be an archaeologist or a grown-up, like a 64-year-old woman that wanted to be, a, always wanted to be an archaeologist, well, this is the perfect place to go to. And it's free. There's no cost for admission. Donations are appreciated. They have um, a cute little museum. And one of them was closed when we went. But, um... Still, it was such a fun day and uh, keep in mind pack a lunch because there's nothing nearby to eat but I finally got to go had the best time and um, that's about it well, thanks for watching